Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Um, it's been a while, maybe one and a half months. Um, I keep saying I'm going to do more and more videos but then never have the time to do them. So I apologise for that. Um, I've got a little update video. Um, I've not really been picking up that many. Um, basically because I usually pick them up from CEX but... They've now upped the postage to three pound per film, which I find I find personally disgusting. Um, if you wanna say, for example, or the three films from them, it's nearly nearly ten pounds, and I just can't see how they can justify that. So I've just been going in store basically and um, to charity shops. I've picked up ten films in a charity shop today. Um, which it was a bizarre way they did it because it was 50 pence a film or 10 for a pound which I thought was a bit bizarre um, there was three blu-rays mixed in with them so I picked them up and that's the only reason why I picked the 10 um, I only have nine now because I've watched one and I've already got rid of it because it was it was rubbish but I'll start with the DVDs that I got out of that, this offer first one being being Steven Seagal's Into the Sun, one of his cheapo um, films. Not seeing this one. I've got a feeling it'll either be average or pretty bad. But I'll see how it is. Into the Sun, another pretty bad Steven Seagal movie, maybe. Urban Warfare. Um, again, never seen it. This one is still wrapped, brand new. So I think whoever bought it in the first place probably didn't have the guts to watch it. But yeah, I'll give that one a go. Third Steven Seagal movie is one is one of his better ones, if I do say so. One of his best. Um, I've had this one before. Mark for Death. Um, yeah, I really, really do enjoy this one. I should pick it up on Blu-ray to be fair. Here's some well not special features. They turn around and say it's got a menu and call it a special feature sometimes on these DVDs. So that's marked for death. Next one is a new one, new DVD as well, shrink wrapped. And it's north by northwest. Now the only reason why I picked this up because I own the Blu-ray is it had extras on the back and I just thought I'd pick it up just in case the extras were different um, and sadly they weren't it's the same documentary that's on this one this is the blu-ray I've got so yeah um, it'll be going back to the charity shop this one um, the next one is one of it's a collection of films I do not own. This is the first one, and I do plan on carrying getting them all, getting them all because they are pretty they're funny. Um, carry on up the Kyber. Now I think this one's probably being a part of a box set um, because there's no barcode on it. This is this is probably one of the better carry on films, and as I say, I don't own any. And to be fair, I I love them. I think they're fantastic films. Um, so we'll be picking up more of these. So that's Carry On Up The Kyber. Um, the next one was a free DVD box set. Uh, Van Damme. Now I do, I have seen The Order. I thought that was pretty good. I've not seen In Hell or Wake for Death. Um, I know these are his lower budget films, but I do think you get better films with, with this guy rather than Steven Seagal. I do still think he, he's trying hard to make good movies, even though he's not really got the budget for them anymore. I think he's, the Hollywood let this guy go way too, too soon, if you ask me. Um, so yeah, hopefully three good films, but that was a part of the 10 film deal. 
um, the next three are Blu-rays. Um, Baywatch. I've watched this and I, I did enjoy it. I liked how crude it was. Um, she's stunning. If you ask me. And so is this one here. Um, yeah, so this is one of... This will, will be going in my wife's collection. She does like this one. Um, so that's Baywatch. Next one is the case is pretty banged up. But the disc is fine. So I'm going to put it in a new case. American Gangster. Um, not seen this in, in, in quite a few years. So I'm looking forward to giving this one a go again. Um, so yeah. Pick that one up. And the last one. Scarface. Um, again, a film I've not seen in quite a few years. Um, I'm not usually a big fan of gangster films, to be fair. Um, but I am trying to get back into them. See if I can see if I enjoy them this time round. So, made up to find this. They were all like ten pence each, so you you can't go wrong, can you? Here's the disc. So that's nine films out of the ten film deal I got. As I say, I've already got rid of one. Um, now onto the ones I've picked up myself as well. First one, Daryl. This was a CEX pickup, but in store. As I say, I've not. I don't really want to buy online anymore unless it it works out better for me. Um, this one was a favourite of mine in the 80s. It's, it's quite good. Whether it still stands up today, with it being a little sci-fi movie, I don't think it will stand up today, but it'll, I think it will still be enjoyable. Um, yeah, really enjoyed this when I first watched this. That's that up. Next one, I've picked, well, next two, I've picked up two um, Gene Hackman Vietnam movies. Both of them are very rarely talked about, if I do say so. First one being Bat 21. Um, picked this up from Amazon Germany. I think it was about £9. Um, Gene Hackman gets shot down in Vietnam. And Danny Glover is he, he's flying a, a plane, a little, one of them little biplanes. And he's it's his job to try and guide Gene Hackman out. Uh, it's a very good film, plenty of action, well worth your time, and the picture quality on this Blu-ray is fantastic, well worth well worth getting. Um, there's also a Spanish release as well, that you can get just as cheap. So that's Bat 21. And the other one I picked up from the US, Uncommon Valor. Another one of his films that doesn't really get talked about. Uh, this one has got a fantastic cast as well. It's where um, Gene Hackman goes back into Vietnam to try and rescue his son who is missing in action. Um, Patrick Swayze is already also in this as well as Fred Ward. Um, you, if you look at the the guys in this picture here, you'll recognise most of them in fact. If you get ever get the film, everybody who's in it you recognise. They were all basic decent stars in the eighties. Um, yeah, I've not opened this one yet, but can't wait to do that one. The next one is another favourite of mine, which has took way too long to come out in the UK. It's been out in the US for years. It's been out in Germany for years, and that is Wanted Dead or Alive. Um, one of Rutger Hauer's best, if I do say so. I think I watched this soon after he done The Hitcher. I think it came out around the same time. Um, Gene Simmons from the rock group Kiss is the bad guy in this, and he's a, he's a fantastic bad guy. Um, here they are there. So, it's, it's a really good film. If you haven't seen it, try and check it out. This 
Blu-ray is only £12.99 new. So it's pretty cheap. Signal One seems to be releasing a lot of their films at £12.99, which, which, you know, hats off to them. They're keeping the prices down. So that's the price I think most Blu-rays should be, if, if, um, in my opinion. So, yep, yeah, grab that one if you can. I now have three 4K films. Um, two from CEX and one from my son for Father's Day. Right, the first one is Shooter. This one at the time was only £6 in CEX. So I'm well impressed with that price. Um, Mark Wahlberg's better films. In fact, I would go as far as to say it's in my top five. It's, it's excellent. Um, not watched it in 4K yet, but I think it'll be pretty good. That's Shooter. The next one is another bargain from CEX, as it's £20 on, I think it might be over £20 now on Amazon. And I got it for £8, and that's the 4K of Children of the Corn. Another bargain. I mean, I don't think CEX knew how much it, it, it was going for, and he just put it down as, as £8. Plenty of extras there. Now, I do have the Anchor Bay US release, and a lot of the extras on that are in this. Looks like they've all been ported over. Here's the disc. So, yeah, looking forward to watching them that. And the next one I got um, from my son for Father's Day is this one. John Wick Chapter 4. This one is the box version. About £40 this is. I think he said he paid for it. Which I'm absolutely over the moon that he bought me this film. Um, it's not every day your son spends that much money on you. But at the same time, without sounding, I hope it don't sound cruel when I say this. If I would was to pay £40 for this, I would have sent it back. It's it, it's not worth the money. Do not buy this one. Um, it's just got a small amount of bits in it. If you you can you can see unboxings of it. If you can't find it, let me know and I'll do an unboxing of it. But it's got a small amount of bits in it, and it's just got the standard 4K Blu-ray in the box. Now, personally. It should have had a, should have had a steel book inside this, um, but I'm not knocking it. It'll be it'll be a film I won't get rid of, because as I say, my son bought it for me. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't have paid the money for it. I would have been disappointed. Um, so anyway, that's it. I now need all my other John Wick films are on Blu-ray, so I need to upgrade to site to try and match them all up but that's my pickups for the for this month as I say not much because basically CEX are bollocks so let me know what you think in the, in the comments um, I'll try not to be so long with the next video next time so Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you again next time. Bye now.